Hey guys, I'm Mariam. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the look that I prepared for you guys today. Super bronzy, but very natural to enhance your natural good looks. And it's a special edition. Get ready with me for date night. We are going out on a date tonight and not just with Lee, we are heading on a double date with some of our friends. So I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward to tonight because it's the weekend, I'm ready to party, I'm ready to eat some good food, all that good stuff. So as I was getting ready, I started thinking to myself, maybe I should do a first date night kind of tutorial because a lot of you guys are probably going on first dates all the time and you wanna know how to look your best, how to please your date, how to enhance your features. So in this tutorial, I packed all of my favorite tips and tricks. It's gonna be a chatting one, so grab some popcorn, grab a snack, and let's get this party started. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, all the good stuff, follow me on my social media platforms. I love you guys and I hope you enjoy this one. Mwah. Today, I'm gonna start off with something a little bit different. I'm gonna use this by Terry Anti-Wrinkle Blur Bronzing Serum Firming Perfector. I know that's a mouthful, but it's an amazing product. Not only does it give you a sunless glow, but it also blurs imperfections, pores, fine lines, and things. It smells divine too, and I love to use it instead of my moisturizer, right under my primer. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender, just like this. Next, I'm gonna apply my Maybelline primer. This is the one that I've been obsessing over for the past month or so. I'm just gonna apply it over my porous areas. That's also gonna help that blurring serum, the self-tanning blurring serum, spread a little bit better. I am going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick, which I love because it's the bomb.com. It is so flawless, it's full coverage without looking cakey and gross and nasty. You don't wanna go on a date looking like you're wearing layers and layers of foundation. Your skin is not gonna look kissable. No one's gonna wanna kiss it. And you guys know I've been obsessing over this brush from Dalton. I especially like it for this type of full coverage foundation. It really blends it out perfectly, smoothly. Makes everything look seamless. And it's quick too, so it will save time. I've got a bit of a situation happening here, so I'm gonna go very minimal on the blending. I actually don't wanna to remove too much makeup here. Of course, if you have a situation on your face, you know what the trick to that is. Make sure the guy sits on the other side. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape to brighten under the eyes. Also camouflage a little right here, you know, a little right here. Bring a little light, life. Yes. Pixie contour stick. Contour the sides of my forehead, cause you know it's big. A little here, just the tip of the nose. Uh, right here, creating shadows. Yes. Time for Instagram face. You guys know how this is done. So I'm just gonna speed through this. All right, and now for the contour, I'm gonna use this brush here also by Pixi. I believe it's their foundation brush, but it's very stiff. So I think it's perfect for blending out cream contour. And make sure to blend this area right here don't want to look like you have a mustache. No, you don't. So you guessed it, Laura Mercier translucent powder. Dusting it right under. Just gonna bring it a little bit in the inner corner. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. The reason why I love it is because it minimizes pores. I recently learned that when you pick up this powder, it's good to make sure that it looks a little bit dusted like this. And if it's too much, you just gotta Tap it like this so that the powder settles in the bristles. That way you get just the right amount of product. And then you gotta swirl it around, just like this. So essentially you're using minimal product to avoid the issue with the flashback and you're also smoothing your pores. Blurring imperfections, fine lines, acne pimples, 
after I use that powder, I still like to go over it with a regular pressed powder that has color. So right now I'm using the Estee Lauder in the shade Rattan. It's kind of like a yellowish. And then I just dust it all over the top. For the brows, I'm only gonna be using one product, which is this uh, Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. I'm gonna keep my brows natural. I'm gonna stick to my natural arched shape, even though I've been loving the straight brows lately. I just think that if you're going on the first date, you don't wanna change up your features too much. You still wanna look like the girl that he met. You know what I'm saying? There are so many trends associated with brows. You gotta be very careful that you don't overdo and don't cover up your natural beauty, especially when it comes to the brows because they are the frames to our face. They're the frames to our eyes and the brows really tend to um, change up your look. I'm not gonna go too thick, even though that's a trend. Everybody wants a super full brow nowadays, but don't go overdrawing if you ain't got it naturally. Sometimes it just ends up looking way too fake, way too drawn on, and I heard that guys don't like that sort of thing. That's what I heard. Then again, if your thing is drawing on your brows, making them extra thick, extra Instagrammy, then by all means, if that's what you love, go for it. Really, there are no rules in makeup, it just has to match your personality. As long as it's you, that's all that matters. Lee, what are your favorite type of brows? Um, Chola. <laughs> Chola brows, guys, for that first day. For my eyes, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my Laura Mercier concealer. Right here, right here. Blend it out, the huge. Now, if you wanna go for that extra defined brow, you could take a little bit of your primer off the wand and you could sharpen just under the brow arch. You'll see why later. For my eye look, I'm gonna go for a classic bronzy, smoky look. Bowie, don't ruin my background, please. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this brown shadow, apply the majority on the center of the lid. You know how much I love this Makeup Forever Flash Palette. It's just a quality product that everyone should have. If you're into makeup, you need to have this. It's perfect for Halloween, it's perfect for every day, it's perfect for makeup artists, for makeup enthusiasts, everybody. I'm going to use this It's Judy Time and Pixie Collab Palette, this shade right here. Really beautiful shade. I've been using this one a lot, and I love the pigmentation of this. I love the color. I think it's perfect for medium skin tones, for tan skin tones. Just a lovely transitional color. Oh, and it blends in so seamlessly. Using a Wayne Gloss brush, just packing it on to my crease and to my transition. Next, I'm gonna pick up this Makeup Atelier palette in the shade Honey Brown. These shadows are so pigmented, so pigmented. I'm always afraid of fallout and I place my hand underneath to catch it, but really with these shadows, there's no fallout. And the reason why I love doing bronze makeup looks for a date is because I think bronze goes great with any eye color, with any eye shape, and it really is enhancing. Makes you look your most beautiful, in my opinion. It's not too overdone, but it's still very glamorous, very classic, just very date night appropriate. Now for my lid, I'm gonna pick up this shade here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. Apply it all over the movable part of my lid. This is super sparkly. Not glittery. I think glitter is a little bit inappropriate for a date, unless of course it's your personality and it's something that you do on a daily basis. Might be a little too festive, you know, especially if it's a first date. So I like to go with shimmer. It's a little bit safer, if you will. And it looks so great in dim lighting. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna add this shimmery shade from the previous palette from the Makeup Atelier, just to the center to highlight it further. 
Oh, so nice. So good. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go back with that same shade from Judy's palette. Basically going to line the lower lash line. Then if you want, you can even blend out the edges a little bit. I'm going to be using this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. Ooh, I like that name. Smudge it along the outer portion of my lash line, tapering it in here in the center. Also going to take it on the bottom lash line. Not all the way in, just halfway in. I'm going to take my teeny tiny little Wayne Gloss smudger brush. I'm going to smudge that baby out some further. Some further. Does that even make any sense? This deep maroon shadow from Judy's palette. Mix it in with this brown. Add it to the outer portion of the crease. So I'm going to connect this V, the liner that I just created, with the outer crease. Small circular motions. I'm just extending the outer portion of my crease. I have to do this for my eye shape because I'm not planning on wearing any more liner. And because my eyes are smaller, I need to um, lift them up a little bit in the outer corner. Mm, mm, love it. Love it. See, the shadow is not too dark. It's not too overwhelming that you look like a completely different person. It still enhances your eye shape or my eye shape in this instance, but it's not changing it. It's just enhancing it. Next, I'm going to take my favorite waterline pencil. This one is by the SD Edit. And I'm going to take this side, which is the tarnished gold, and use it to line my waterline. I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. It's my current favorite, next to the Motives Fiber Mascara. Love these two for giving me dark, voluminous lashes. And they even work on my little lashes. So I know they'll work on longer lashes. Now, if you're not a false lashes type of girl, you could totally stop right here. This already looks very fancy, very date worthy, very night worthy. But because I wear falsies kind of on a regular basis, I'm going to go get some. Lashes are on. For my lashes, I decided to go with this Lily Lashes Style in Doha. They are not as long as typical lashes. They're a little bit shorter, but they're nice and dense, so they only enhance the smokiness of this look. Because my eyes are so nice and bronzy, I want to make sure that my face matches. So I'm going to pick up my Pixie Strobe and Bronze palette, my shade City Kitty, beautiful matte olive bronzer, just this much, and I'm going to just dust it onto my forehead, first to the sides, then to my hairline, bringing the whole thing together. Love my strobe and bronze so much. I use it every day along with my strobe and sculpt. Oh, makes me so happy. I love it. Hope you guys have been able to get your hands on it. $20 in Target. Actually, $21. $20 on pixiebeauty.com, so it's even cheaper. So I'm just warming up my complexion. I already contoured with the contour stick. Now I'm just applying it to the areas that I would typically contour, but just a little bit higher. So kind of like between your contour and your blush. This is the bronzer area. I'm also bringing it across my cheeks because that's where the sun hits naturally. And I say this in pretty much every single video or whenever I'm asked what is the difference between bronzer and contouring powder. That's the difference. It's just a slightly different technique and the contour is meant to imitate shadow, whereas bronzer is meant to warm up the face. Yes. For the blush, did I like leave my blush elsewhere? Girl, what are you doing? Okay. My strobe and sculpt has a brush, yes. Brush, blush. My strobe and sculpt palette has a blush. This brilliant shade here. So this is exactly what I'm gonna use. And I think a peachy glow is perfect for this look. I'm gonna apply it just right here, just for a little subtle glow. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Whenever I think about going on a date, I always think of Lee and Lee's least favorite cosmetic product, which is blush. For some reason, he says it reminds him of clowns. He doesn't like clowns, so I always try to avoid that one. 
MAC Fix Plus. For my highlight, I'm gonna pick up Lex. Ooh, baby. So beautiful. That Lex Milk Mustache Highlight. Then I'm gonna pick up Empress, which is everyone's fave. And I'm going to enhance the glow. Yes, glow. Yes, come through glow. Oh, you are glowing. To pop a little bit in the inner corners. I'm gonna go with a pretty neutral lippy. I wanna keep it glossy and I'll tell you why in just a second. So first I'm gonna outline my lips with a nudie type of pencil, MAC Spice. Now we already contoured the lips so we don't need to overline them too much, especially on a date, especially if you're gonna be eating. So if you eat off your lipstick, all you'll be left with is the outline of your liner and that's not cute. So keep the outlining to a minimum. I'm saying this for myself. So this is a trick that I'm excited to share with you. I'm gonna use this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Cabaret Show. Kind of like a neutral color. When wearing non-transferable lipstick on a date or to a restaurant, keep in mind that the non-transferable aspect of it actually tends to stain much easier than if you were wearing a traditional lipstick or if you were wearing a gloss. Not only does it stain, it's also much harder to remove at a setting that's outside of your home. So what I like to do is apply a lip gloss on top. If you plan on eating, keep in mind that if you have your lip gloss on, you will eat off your lip gloss, but your non-transferable lip color will stay. It will remain intact. So after you're done eating, it is very easy to fix your lipstick by just applying your lip gloss on top. That's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use this really cute color from Motives. It's called Fizzy. Very beautiful peachy. I think it's gonna enhance this shade nicely. Yeah, exactly. All right, you guys, that is it. This is the final look. Let me put my hair together. Let me put together my outfit. Okay, I am dressed and ready to go. This is my outfit. This is my hair. I don't know why I put in these braids. I just thought they kind of looked appropriate with this look. It makes me feel sort of Coachella ready. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going on a double date tonight. I'm so excited. So this isn't gonna be a first date. It's gonna be more like a date with friends. So I'm prepared, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be enjoying myself tonight because it is the weekend. So I hope you guys do the same. I hope you enjoy yourselves out there, whatever it is that you're doing with your friends, with your loved ones, with your boyfriend, with your husband, with your best friend, or with your cat or dog. All right guys, enough chatting. This is a long video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like my tips and tricks for first date night makeup tutorial. Leave me your own tips down below if you have any. Let's start a conversation. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Mwah.